Hello video creators, and welcome to this quick start guide for Easify Pro, the first ever extension that brings custom easing to Premiere Pro. In this video, we will explore all the functionalities and features available in Easify Pro so you can enhance your animations as quickly as possible. Here's a quick overview. In this section, you can choose various easing functions, ranging from sign to bounce. As you can see, there are two separate easing graphs linked together. By clicking the link icon, you can combine different easing graphs. Here, you control the percentage of each graph, although it's often best to keep it at 50%. You can also customize special graphs like back, elastic, and bounce by clicking the gear icon. Save your creations for quick access later, you can save up to 10 of them. In this section, you select where to apply easing, between individual keyframes, between all keyframes, or to the entire animation path. Since Premiere Pro doesn't directly support keyframe manipulation, Easify Pro bakes in the easing animation. You can choose the interval between newly created keyframes, measured in milliseconds. An interval of 25 to 100 should suffice, but feel free to experiment. By the way, the UI is flexible, allowing you to adjust its size as needed. To apply easing to keyframes, select the clips to which you want to apply easing. Position the playhead between the keyframes requiring easing. This step is necessary due to limitations in the Premiere Pro API. There's simply no way for a program to tell what keyframes are selected or not. Afterward, click Ease and witness the magic. To use saved easing, simply click on the saved option. But what if there are multiple keyframes between the playhead and I only want to apply easing to one of them? I'm glad you asked. In that case, Easify Pro will prompt you to select the property to which you want to apply easing. You can even apply easing to multiple clips simultaneously. One of the most vexing issues that Easify Pro effectively addresses is the synchronization of easing across different properties. Prior to Easify Pro, the only dependable options were the standard linear or easy ease functions. However, now you have the flexibility to employ any easing type you desire. Consider this scenario, when you intend to zoom in on a specific section of the screen, you inevitably need to manipulate both scale and position keyframes. To infuse your animation with greater dynamism, Easify Pro comes into play, offering a seamless solution. To remove easing, position the playhead within the newly created keyframes and click Remove. You'll also be prompted to select which property to remove easing from if there are multiple properties. The quick overview concludes, and now let's delve deeper into Easify Pro. Let's begin by exploring combinations of easing graphs. As you might have guessed, blue represents the first easing function, while orange represents the second one. If you prefer to keep things straightforward without any graph combinations, you can achieve this by either linking back easing graphs or setting the graph ratio to 100 or 0. This allows you to concentrate solely on one graph, simplifying the process. The best results are typically achieved by combining in and out versions of graphs. Ensure the sliders are set to both for this purpose. However, there are exceptions, leading us to the next topic, customization of special graphs. As mentioned earlier, access this feature by clicking the gear icon, which appears for special functions. For the back function, customize the overshoot of the animation. A higher value results in a greater deviation from the animation path. You can even use negative values for unique effects. Quite cool, isn't it? A convenient feature of Easify Pro is the ability to adjust values in input boxes by clicking and dragging the mouse left or right, mimicking Premiere's behavior. Holding Shift makes values change faster, while holding Control or Command on Mac makes values change more slowly. For Elastic, you can adjust the animation's frequency, which I've referred to as smoothness. Higher values make the graph appear smoother, essentially controlling frequency. Some values may lead to unexpected outcomes. Now, let's explore Bounce. There's much customization available. Control the number of bounces in the animation with the BQ slider. Adjust the fly time, determining when the first bounce occurs, measured as a percentage. For the first bounce, control its strength. A setting of 100% results in a bounce back to the initial position, while 50% means a bounce halfway along the animation path, and so on. Similarly, adjust the strength of the last bounce. It can even be stronger than the first bounce. If you have more than two bounces, control the decay of temporary bounces using a slider. 
for precise control. Click the gear icon to set the strength of individual bounces. The possibilities here are vast. Keep in mind that an excessive number of bounces might lead to a graph with missing data points, but this should align with your desired outcome if the animation path is sufficiently long. Considering the ability to combine these special graphs, there are limitless experimentation opportunities. To edit saved graphs, click the edit icon, select the ones you want to delete, then click the trash can icon to remove them, or the stop icon to cancel the edit. Let's move on to the section where you choose where to apply easing. The between option applies easing between two keyframes. The all option applies easing between all keyframes within the property. Lastly, the path option applies easing to the entire animation path. Think of it as the robe across time setting and after effects, applicable to any keyframable property, not just position. It's quite impressive, you can sketch out your desired path without worrying about keyframe timing and hit ease. However, be cautious, removing animation leaves only the first and last keyframes. It's wise to duplicate the clip before applying easing, just in case. That concludes all the information about eSify Pro. Feel free to try it out for free, along with my other Premiere Pro extensions that will streamline your workflow. Thank you for watching, and take care.